YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another Monday thrift haul for you. And I even have two items that I found in a dumpster, which I will explain. I do occasionally dumpster dive. I kind of look around. Um, there are a few dumpsters, corporate company dumpsters that I go to that I get a lot of my bubble wrap for free, because free is my favorite price. So yeah, I always look for that and happened to find something I didn't expect. So I did get a lot of tops today. Um, I believe I spent $49 at the first savers and at the second one, I think it was like 37, 38. So I got a decent amount of tops. Very happy with the selection price. Can always, of course, be better, but hey, we're not gonna complain. So let's jump right in and show you what I got. So let's first do the dumpster dive items. Uh, this is a really cool looking little table. Uh, it still has the price tag on it for $69.99. Uh, it has a metal base and a marble top. The marble, as you can see, has a crack in it. That's probably why they threw it away. So this will easily sell for probably $18 to $20 in my booth, even in the condition that it is in. Um, if I had something to replace the top, I would, but I really don't. So, I don't know. Even like a wood tray or something would look awesome on top of this. Uh, and it's got this silver bottom. So, yeah, for free! The other item that I found for free uh, and also has a small defect in it uh, is this wooden horse. I'm not sure the aesthetics of this of having little spindly metal legs. But hey, to each his own. It says home accent on it. Um, he is really cute. Let me show you what his problem is. Uh, one of his ears is chipped. So I will probably just color that in with some, uh, you know, like the wood. Like it's, it's kind of like a wood varnish, you know, in a pen. Uh, do that. And then I'll probably put that in my booth, see how it does. If not, I can always donate it. Who cares? But it's not going in a landfill, so that's what's important. Uh, if you have a store called Tuesday Morning, that is where I got these two items. I get a ton, like I said, of bubble wrap. Um, so that is usually where I go, and I barely ever, ever find anything just thrown away. Uh, if something doesn't sell, they mark it down, mark it down, mark it down until it finally goes. Uh, so rarely do I ever find merchandise in there, but this was a nice surprise. So uh, the two signs on top, one says Peace Love Coffee, that was $2.99, so it was $1.50. Dust is what gives a home that warm, fuzzy feeling, that was 4 so it was $2. Uh, these signs will probably respectively go for 5 and $6. Uh, I told you about the table, um, the horse, I don't know, probably put 16 on it, see how it does. I did get a Vera Bradley a cross body bag. I have been taking these to my booth. They've been doing well there. Uh, so this was $7.99. So $4 is what I paid. And I will probably, if it goes to my booth, put $18 to $20 on it. Uh, if I do sell it online, um, I usually do my research just to see in case it's a particularly desirable pattern, etc. But I have like uh, probably six or eight uh, Vera Bradley purses in my booth, so they are doing quite well. So anything I'm buying new, unless it's a wallet or eyeglass case or checkbook cover or anything like that, it does go to my booth, just the purses. So we'll see how that does. Um, <clears throat> I have a Body Buddy pillow that I love. This is a actual like a cover and it is, uh, I don't know, real soft. So that was only $1.50 originally, $5 at uh, Target. So not too bad. That is for me. <clears throat> Did find a Torrid sweater. It is at a size 4. Vanity size, it's essentially a 4X. It is very cute. No snags, very clean. Uh, that I paid $4.50. No, four and a quarter. This very cute Lane Bryant top. I don't know if this is a... It looks like a fox, I guess. Uh, it is Lane Bryant, as I said. And it was $22.24. So um, I paid $3.50. 
These tops go anywhere from $15 up to $25, depending on the name. Of course, I do my research. Um, I know there's a Torrid store maybe 40 minutes from me. Never been in there. But, hey, um, I know Torrid is a good brand. This is a brand I have seen occasionally, but uh, I actually bought two tops of it today because they were really cute. So, uh, have you ever heard of this? It's uh, Roz and Alley. This one was a 3X. This is also a 3X. And this is like a t-shirt material, and then it's kind of sheer, but it has a fabric there. Very cute top. And then this one has like little flowers, and then it's one of those ones where they just stamp it on there. So very cute, very purple. Love that. Um, this is probably too big, but uh, I... Everything you're going to see on the table is for sale. I did buy one very plain t-shirt, which was a Terra and Sky, which is the new brand Walmart is carrying, which I love. It's very comfortable. I have several of those shirts, so that one was like $2, so I already uh, put it in the laundry, so no, you're not going to see that one, but it was just a plain blue top. This one is very pretty. It looks like it's just black and white. And it's kind of got this mesh thing going on toward the top. This is an Avenue 3032. It was 350. And then this bottom is like a blood red. It's so pretty. Um, so I thought that was a very good price. Uh, Avenue does well. Lane Bryant does good. Torrid does well. These two I'm interested to see. Um, like I said, I've rarely seen this brand, if I don't remember, but these two styles really caught my eye. In fact, I didn't even realize they were the same brand until I just saw them together, because <laughs> I was just laying everything out. Um, I got this for my antique mall. Uh, they do occasionally do, like, in-house type of drawings, or if you're there for an event, and this was a huge roll, and it was only $1.50. So when I find something like that, I just usually give it to them because, you know, I'm helping them. They help my business. It's all good. Um, I have one time I found a huge bag of paper clips. And they go through a lot of paper clips because that's how they hand out the readouts and our tickets and our checks. So, and it was like two bucks. So I got it. And she ended up forcing the two dollars on me. But I'm like, no, no, I see it. And I'm like, that's a great deal. And no, you can't buy it any cheaper. I mean, it was literally thousands of paper clips. So that will go uh, to the mall owners. Um, this top was an Avenue. It was $26.28, uh, $3.50. It's kind of got this tie-dye and this little metal stud thing going on. It's kind of heavier t-shirt, so it might be good for fall. Um, this is a Fresh Produce, which is a very good brand that does sell well. Uh, it is a 2X. It just has a plain t-shirt, flip-flops on it. I paid, uh, what, $1.50, $1.75. So Fresh Produce is a good brand if you happen to find it. It's in regular sizes as well as Plus. So definitely pick that up. This is a Romans brand, which is uh, just a catalog brand. Uh, this is a 4X, but it is quite much larger, I think. Of course, I include sizes. It's got this Empire waist on it, but it is a top. I thought it was very cute. A little more expensive than I want to pay, but uh, if it is an extra super size, I definitely pick it up. Anything over 3X, um, if it's, you know, very clean and it's not pilly and, and used, very well used, as you could tell, I do pick it up. Um, this one was six, uh, six and a quarter. Another Elaine Bryant. It's like a stamp t-shirt, but then it's got some of this like embroidery detail on it. Um, not even sure what style you would call that, but this was $350, $26.28. All of these shirts uh, are too big for me, so I will not be keeping any of them. <laughs> Although the Torrid uh, sweater is nice, but it'd probably be too big as well. This is really pretty. This uh, is... Uh, Unity. Uh, I've heard of this brand, never picked it up, but it's a 1X. Uh, $3. It has this real pretty lacing on the back of the neck and then kind of a v-neck in the front. And again, it's that stamped, uh, but black and white, very pretty. Um, very happy with that one as well. This is just like a plain t-shirt. It's kind of longer on the hips, got kind of a hanky hem thing going on. 
and it's a little bit of the stretchy with this, uh, you know, the silver stud detailing. It is Avenue 2628, and it was 350. Um, this one, I don't know. It's like this. What they put on here, it just feels like rubbery. It's really strange. Um, this is a dress barn 3x, and it was also 350. Very surprised at the prices. In fact, I think um, probably two thirds of this I got at the first one, and then the rest I got at the last one. Um, so very happy with the prices except for that. In fact, I hem and hawed about this one, and I was like, mm, it's a decent size. It looks brand new, so I picked it up. Um, I think that's all for tops. Yes, maybe. Oh, before I forget, I did get this piece of fabric. It's pretty ugly. <laughs> It's like that commercial. It's pretty ugly. So it's pretty. No, it's very ugly. <laughs> uh, $3.99. Paid $2. There's at least three yards on there. Um, has the different uh, ship names and such on it. I uh, had one similar to this, but it was all like, um, like 1776 and the Liberty Bell and all that kind of stuff on it. And I sold that on eBay, so that did really well. Uh, so this that's where this one will be going, of course, pending research. Da, da, da. Now, you know I pick up a lot of purses, and you know most of the brands I get. I occasionally come across this one, and it sells really well because the patterns are just so adorable. Uh, Bungalow 360, if you've never heard of it, uh, keep your eye out. It's kind of a light canvas. Uh, this one has alligators on it. So adorable. Only $3.00. Uh, it has this flap. It's a crossbody. And then it zippers and it has this adorable uh, green polka dot and then pockets. Um, I looked at it. It's very clean. I checked all the zippers. Everything's in working order. Um, so <clears throat> these could do up to $40 depending on style, condition, um, pattern. But I just thought that was just too adorable. So yeah, three bucks. See, everybody's like, Oh, the thrift stores know everything that sells. No, they don't. They don't know about this brand. There's a lot of other brands and other types of items they just don't know about. So, yeah, Bungalow 360. If you see it, pick it up. Uh, a lot of these, not this one in particular, uh, but a lot of these are also reversible, which is cool. Uh, let's see. These I kind of took a chance on. These will probably go to my booth. Um, I first saw this one and I was like, oh no, it doesn't have a price. They're just little, uh, a little apple cage. <laughs> so you could put anything in there, I guess. $2.99 for both of them, so $1.50 or $0.75 cents each. So yeah, I'll put these by my kitchen items. Somebody will adore them. And even if I could find some really cheap, like apple cinnamon, uh, maybe tea bags you know, like the ones that are individually wrapped and maybe put a handful of each. Hey, that's a good idea. I should probably do that. Yeah, put a, you know, 10 or 12 in these and then somebody would love to buy them that way. That would definitely uh, help them sell and then I'll take them out in the fall. So yeah, I just thought of that and yeah, it's real free to use that idea. <laughs> I got two uh, sets of salt and pepper shakers. Uh, this one are adorable little bear ones. Um, they were in a bag for $2.99 or $1.50. Uh, these little kissing Siamese are very cute. They were in a bag with something else. It was like a little teeny plate that had something written on it, and it was fading off. So that was actually a threw it out instead of re-donating it. But uh, $3, they still have their tags on them, and they have little magnets. So you just keep these little smoochy smooch. So that was $3, not too bad. Um, these will definitely sell. Probably will sell these for, I would say, six, maybe eight dollars on the cat ones. Um, yeah, so these should do well. Uh, these, if I do the tea bag idea, I'm thinking I could probably put maybe six dollars on each. Not too bad. Now, these were kind of a cool find. Um, this is something uh, old stationery, old cards, which these fall into. These are still in the package. Uh, a variety of uh, different subjects and ages. Some of these are quite old. Um, and these were all in nine bags. 
Uh, so I just took them all out, but here's all the tags. They were all, uh, as you see, $1.99. So they were a dollar. So $9 I paid for all of these cards stacked up here. So these should do well. They are vintage, vintage stationery. Oh, does well. 80s especially does really well. Uh, like the splatter and wild colors uh, do very well. These, um, I don't think I've ever really found these, and but I think they should do really well. So let's jump right in, show you the different subjects. I was very happy. I was thinking, oh, I hope they're not all the same type of thing, but this is a bridal shower. The bridal shower was just lovely. And so is your thoughtful gift. So these are thank you cards. There's eight in a package and there are four packages. So what I'll probably do, of course, I'm gonna say it again, research. What I will do is put uh, put up you know, quantity four and then people can get as many as they want, but these are all still sealed. Um, the funny thing is Carlton Cards used to be in Cleveland, Ohio, not too far from me. So uh, I don't see a date on these, but I will look them up. They still have the barcode. We're getting to a point where things with barcodes are still vintage, are vintage now, I should say. So I got that stack, and then there's three of these that say come to a party. I guess you could tell, too, how old they are by the price. These were eight cards for $3.25, which isn't that old. These are eight cards for 69 cents. You could tell it's getting older. And uh, on the back, it's got the uh, all the information on it, the date, the time, etc. Um, so 69 cents, there's three of those. And then these are welcome. We're having a baby shower. There's two of those. Um, this one is... American Greetings, Cleveland, Ohio, which we had their headquarters, I guess, for some time. Eight for a dollar. So there's two of those. This is just adorable. Look at that. So you could tell that's very 70s. Uh, eight invitations for uh, 69 cents, shower time. And then it has where you fill it in. This one is uh, Gibson Greeting Cards, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh... Yeah, don't see a date on these either, so I'm going to kind of have to guess. Uh, this one is definitely older. Eight for 60 cents. Here she is, Miss America. Uh, birth announcements. These are Gibson also. Oh, so cute. So you put the date, time, weight, etc. Very cute. Look at that face. Um, here's also another birth announcement for a girl where... Uh, we have a new little girl, and we want you to meet her. Isn't that cute? Um, I don't know the price on these. Ten for $1.49. Um, this is also craft greeting cards, Massachusetts. Um, these, um, ten for $1.25, a baby girl. You write in the statistics. A lot of these are made in USA. Uh, so that's something to put on there on uh, Norcross. Yeah, I'm not sure I've heard of that one before. Um, this one is engagement announcements. This is invitation. Two special people just got engaged. Look at the dress she's wearing. Wow. So uh, this has all the information on the back. Yep, eight for two, for eight for a buck. Uh, American greetings. Um, says our wonderful wedding memories. So these are were made so much happier by your thoughtfulness. Thank you for remembering us. American greetings, uh, eight for two. So thank you cards. There are two of those. These are so old too. Look at that. Uh, it says you're invited. Charm cards, made in the U.S. Oh, look at the hair and the dress. Ooh. So uh, I guess in the back it says, please come to a, so I don't know, engagement party, etc. Ten cards for 79 cents with the envelopes. And there are two packages of those. Uh, this one just, it's, it's opening a little, but it is still closed. Oh, that's so 70s. 
So that's those. Um, we have a new daughter. Um, these are American Greetings, uh, 10 for $1.50. So there's one of those. Uh, also, so these are probably, I don't know, probably about the same age. This one says a new uh, daughter. We're so happy and proud. Um, these are 8 for two forty nine. dollars Birth announcements, 10 for $1.25. Another Norcross. Very cute. Um, thank you for the wedding gift. So a lot of people bought gifts and went to parties and uh, never got a thank you note. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, this one was also American Greetings. Uh, three, no, eight for a dollar. There are two of those. This one is ten for 89 cents. Uh, the time has come for you to know who the new star in our family show. Oh, how cute. Opening performance. Oh, star's name in that cute. So cute. Ruby Craft. I think I've heard of that before. No, is that Rust or Ruby? Rust. Rust Craft. So that one's adorable. There's only one of those. There's this one. Shower time for baby. Um, This is what? Uh, C.A. Reed Invitations 8. Um, and then this one, you were invited to a baby shower, made in the U.S. Oh, I love this one. Very cute. A dollar. Freedom. Uh, special occasion and cards and envelopes. Bristol, PA. Your shower gift was simply perfect. Isn't that awesome? Look at her outfit. Oh, love it. So there are eight cards and envelopes, and then it has uh, it folded the other way. It says your thoughtful choice of a shower present makes this happy time even more pleasant. How nice. So yeah, that one's very cool. Oh, I guess I did have another one of these. There's two more of these. Well, see, I'm getting confused. I thought I had these pretty well sorted nope there's one there that's from the other side of the table there so now i have three of these and then this one says please come to a shower uh the very yellow and green in other words we don't know if it's a boy or a girl so yeah and this one is also american greetings made in usa eight for dollar 99 so yeah that's uh pretty cool uh, these should do really well, um, especially uh, like this one and this one, and where was that other one? These, oh, those should do well, uh, that one, so the older ones should do especially well, but these should be pretty easy to photograph and ship uh, and sell. So uh, if you do see the older, um, you know, it's older, it's sealed, by all means, pick them up. I've never really sold loose ones, like if it was in a box or somebody bought it and it just sat somewhere. I'm sure if it's old enough, it would probably do well. But I thought these were definitely a good pickup. And so $9 for all of those. Um, it's funny because as soon as I started picking them up, I just grabbed them all and put them in the cart and then I kind of just went through them. Um, so I ended up getting pretty much all the ones they have. So these probably were all from the same person. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I just the idea to me, I'm I'm more of a minimalist type of thinking. Uh, the idea of buying something and holding on to it for 40 years and then and then it sees the light of day. It's I don't know. I'm just not built that way, but my business is definitely built on that way when people are that way. So, not too bad. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what in particular struck your fancy? What did you like? Um, also, that bag and the wallet that I got in a previous haul, guess what? I kept it. <laughs> I figured it's fall colors and hey, you know, I deserve it. So, uh, like I said, that's all that I got. Um, if you have any, uh, you know, comments below, leave them. I would be interested to see what you think about uh, some of the old vintage stationery. Have you sold it before? Um, you can also follow me on Twitter and also Instagram under The Pudgy Picker. And if you did, you would have seen a picture of my uh, two elephants so far. I think I got another one that needs done uh, with the toothpick tusks. 
<laughs> so follow me on there and you'll see other little projects, little things I happen to be working on. I just take a little picture and off it goes. And if you follow me also on Instagram uh, and Twitter, uh, that's another way to get notified when I put a video up. Um, also, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Would love to have you here at the Pudgy Picker family. And you can click the bell. Uh, if you haven't clicked that bell in a while, you might want to click it again. I hear some people are not getting notifications. Or if you're subscribed to a lot of people, sometimes I can get pushed down in the feed. And that makes me sad. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good. So that's it. That is all. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.